a Wikivide Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Stellan Skarsgård Stellan John Skarsgård is a Swedish actor. He is known for his roles as Jan Nyman in Breaking the Waves, Captain Tupolev in The Hunt for Red October, Professor Gerald Lambeau in Goodwill Hunting, Bootstrap Bill Turner in Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest, and Pirates of the Caribbean, At World's End, Bill Anderson in Mamma Mia, Commander Maximilian Richter in Angels and Demons, Martin Wanger in The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, Drive, Eric Selvig in the Marvel Cinematic Universe films Thor, The Avengers, Thor, The Dark World, and Avengers, Age of Ultron, and The Grand Duke in Cinderella. Early Life Skarsgård was born in Gothenburg, Sweden, the son of Gudrun and Jan Skarsgård. He moved often in his childhood and lived, amongst other places, in Helsingborg, Totebo, Kalmar, Marieland and Uppsala. Acting career Skarsgård started his acting career early, and, by the age of 21, his experience in film, TV, and stage was considerable. Most of his early roles were in Swedish television and films. Of Skarsgård's work in Swedish film, he is perhaps best known for his portrayal of Swedish diplomat Raoul Wallenberg, who worked to save Holocaust victims. Skarsgård is particularly associated with director Lars von Trier, and has appeared in six of the Danish auteurs' features, The Kingdom, Breaking the Waves, Dancer in the Dark, Dogville, Melancholia and Nymphomaniac. His most personal working relationship, however, is with Norwegian director Hans Petter Moland, who has directed the actor in Zero Kelvin, Aberdeen, in order of disappearance, and a somewhat gentle man. Skarsgård considers Moland a close friend and, in 2009, he said of their relationship, We're like an old married couple and I get separation anxiety. Another Scandinavian work that he is known for is the 1997 Norwegian film Insomnia, in which he plays the guilt-ridden policeman Jonas Engström. Skarsgård's first American film was the 1985 film Noon Wine, directed by Michael Fields in which Skarsgård played a mentally disturbed immigrant farmhand being chased by a bounty hunter. He acted opposite Fred Ward, who portrayed the farmer. In 1990, he starred in another American film, The Hunt for Red October, playing the character of Captain Tupolev, a Soviet submarine commander. He was considered for the role of Oscar Schindler in Schindler's List. Skarsgård reported that people often mistook him for Liam Neeson who portrayed Schindler in the film. Skarsgård would, in fact, replace Neeson in the 2004 film Exorcist, The Beginning. He appeared as a guest star on the HBO TV series Entourage as Werner Wahlstedt. The German director of the fictional film Smoke Jumpers, who has a bias against the main character Vincent Chase, one of the stars of the film. Skarsgård played Dr. Eric Selvig in Marvel's 2011 film Thor, and then reprised the role in the 2013 sequel Thor, The Dark World, as well as 2012's The Avengers, and 2015's Avengers, Age of Ultron. Skarsgård reteamed with Thor director Kenneth Branagh for the 2015 film Cinderella, in which he played the Grand Duke. Skarsgård has also appeared in music videos alongside fellow Swedes. He was in Eva Dahlgren's Them Tandis Gianorna in 2009 and Luke Ali's 2011 music video Sadness is a Blessing. Personal Life he married my Skarsh Gord, a physician, in April 1975, and together they had six children, Alexander, Gustav, Sam, Bill, E.I.J.A. and Walter. Alexander, Gustav, Bill and Walter are also actors, while E.I.J.A. is a former model. Skarsh Gord and my divorced in May 2007. 
Stalin married Megan Everett in January 2009. The couple has two sons together, Ossian and Kolbjorn. Skarsgård has had a vasectomy, stating that he felt eight children was enough. Actors Paul Bettany and Jennifer Connolly named their son Stellan after Skarsgård. Views on religion Skarsgård was brought up by humanist, atheist parents and had an atheist grandfather and a deeply religious grandmother. According to Skarsh Gord, this never led to any problems, because of the family's mutual respect for each other's opinions. After the September 11th attacks, Skarsh Gord set out to read the Bible and the Quran, both of which he condemns as violent. Skarsh Gord is also a critic of religious independent schools in the Swedish educational system. Skarsgård has said he considers the notion of God absurd, and that if a real God were actually so vain as to constantly demand worship, then he would not be worthy of it. In 2009, Skarsgård, along with other non-religious artists, authors and entrepreneurs including Krista Sturmark, Bjorn Alvaeus and Christopher Glassang, wrote an article in Dagens Nyheter stressing the importance of secularity. The group also criticized the UN for its stance on blasphemy laws. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?